Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get and use the Solaris GUI with plenty of features like aimbot, fly, ESP, and way more. Enjoy. Alright guys, so once you're in the first link in the description, you guys should see this page and what you guys are going to want to do is click on this little gray button in the middle of your screen. So click on Get Script. And once you guys have clicked on it, it's going to open an ad that looks something like this or it's going to download something and you guys can just X out or delete whatever it downloads. But eventually after you clicked on it twice, it should bring you to this control C where you guys can copy the script. And after you've copied the script, you're going to want to load into your game. And when you guys are loading into your game, you're going to want to take your executor as you can see right there today. I'm going to be using Synapse. Synapse does cost $20, but you guys can get a chance to get it for free. And all you need to do is leave a like and comment down below your favorite feature from the GUI. And just do that until we hit 25, 125k, which is the subscriber goal. And we'll be giving away 13 Synapse keys. And one of those keys is going to be for my members. As you can see, all my members right here. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, helping me do these videos. But anyways, let's paste the script. And after you pasted it, execute it. And once you guys have executed the script, it's going to say loading and all that good stuff. And what you guys are going to want to do is click on the little get key button. And then it's going to bring you to a page that looks a little like this. And after you've done their link for ties, which is just an article, you don't have to do any notifications or stuff like that. You can copy the key and that key will last like 24 hours and you guys can continue playing. So here we have the GUI. So we have lots of sections. The first one is legit. So we have stuff like silent aim, aimbot, and you can adjust your FOV. You got some rage settings like, you know, auto shoot, insta kill, stuff like that. You got some weapon gun mods, you know, no recoil, uh, infinite gun ammo you got some esps like tracers boxes you know basic stuff you also have some more visuals which are like arm transparencies gun champs stuff like that third person we also have movement which is fly walk speed that kind of stuff and after that which is the last section we have main which this is where you have like your spin bot you know your anti-aim all that good stuff and lastly, settings, which is just your UI settings. But let's start off with our legit settings, okay? Uh, so here we are in the game. Oh, uh, hello, what's going on? All right, so let's start off first with the aimbot. You guys know what this is. It's just a classic aimbot, which just, you know, locks onto people, stuff like that. And you also have silent aim, and the silent aim has an FOV, which you guys can adjust, as you can see right here. And everything inside the circle will be aimbotted, everything outside will not be, you know, you know how that goes. And you can either use the FOV or not. I recommend using an FOV and setting it to like 150, 100, like 10, or like something like that. Even 150 max is like good for somewhat, you know, playable silent aim, but you guys can set it to whatever you like. We also have visible check, which will just check if somebody is visible or not. And if it's not on, then it's going to just try to wobbing them. And obviously that doesn't really work sometimes. So I do recommend turning that on, but it really depends on your weapon. We also have predict drop. Pretty self-explanatory. The game or this exploit will try to predict how much drop it is from, you know, your aimbot with the gun that you're using. You also have predict movement. Once again, the same thing except with other people's movements. And you also have your hit chance. So I recommend turning this down if you guys aren't trying to get banned pretty quickly. So, you know, turn down your hit chance and then your headshot chance should be lower because, you know, you're not going to hit more headshots than you're going to hit at all. So turn down your headshot chance and your hit chance and you should be good. You also have silent bullets. Pretty obvious feature. It like makes your bullets silent as it says and you know that can be pretty blatant sometimes so it really depends what you're trying to go for and lastly you got knife aura and you can change the radius of how far you use the knife aura so it really just depends on what you guys want to do uh, i don't recommend you know setting it too high but like knife aura can be somewhat <laughs> legit you know if you guys are just playing an alt it doesn't really matter that much so you can just be semi-legit with a little bit of knife aura. Just moved on. So this is like the rage stuff. So what you have here is like auto shoot, 
pretty self-explanatory. What this will do is if anybody's on your screen, it's just gonna automatically shoot. You got insta-kill, which will just instantly kill people, uh, and it may lag, but it is what it is, you know? It's pretty overpowered though, because it's gonna, you know, one-shot kill people way more efficient than other people trying to kill you because they have to hit you multiple times, but you can just hit them once and they die. So pretty cool. You also have a position scanner. You guys can know where other people's positions are and you can change the radius of that, bigger or larger. This also exists in their arsenal, uh, GUI I'm pretty sure for Solaris. So pretty cool. You also have a TP scanner so you guys can set the range and the radius for that. So. That's that. Let's move on to the gun section. So you got no camera recoil. So you guys know when you shoot your gun, your camera kind of shakes a little. You can turn that off. You can turn off your gun recoil. So your guns will just perfectly go, or your bullets will go perfectly in the middle of your crosshair. So you can pretty much just like run around and your bullets will still hit the center, you know? You also have small crosshair, a pretty self-explanatory. You got no sway which will just prevent your gun from moving like this when you're running around. You got no reload and no shoot animation, which you can turn those animations off. You also have combined mags, which will just put all your magazines into one magazine. So then you're not gonna have to reload. So that's a pretty cool feature, like infinite ammo, except not infinite, you guys get what I mean, okay? And you also have automatic, which will turn any gun into an automatic gun. So like your pistol, if it's not automatic, you can still turn this feature on hold your shoot and it's just gonna work like an automatic pistol. And lastly, you got your fire rate and you can make your fire rate higher or lower. Once again, kind of obvious, but really depends what you're going for. Let's move on to like our ESP, where you got like your names, you know, your boxes, your tracers, all classic stuff, really useful. You can change where your tracer positions are too, like if you want them from the middle, from the right, from the, the top, well, you know, whatever you like. Uh, you also have your health bar, pretty cool. I really love when any other GUI has a health bar option. You know, pretty, pretty cool, okay? You got that classic ESP look. I usually turn off tracers, but really, whatever you guys want. You can also change the transparency of chams. If you guys don't know what chams are, it's pretty much just like you can see a player's model through the wall so you see their arms their head what face what direction they're facing you can change the UI for like their names and stuff like that the size you can do as small or big you want and you can even outline it as you can see but that's all for the esp let's move on to the of course visuals for your player so you got arm chams so you guys can change the color for that so your arms will be whatever color you want and you can also change the material so your arms can be made of ice you know it can be made out of glass or even neon so it'll just be like glowing you're gonna have to turn up your transparency for that so just keep that in mind but anyways you guys can also change your gun you know chams so it's just gonna be like your arms except you can do whatever color you want for your gun and whatever material so if you guys don't have too many skins super sick uh, you also have a view model, so you guys can go into third person mode. Uh, pretty sick because you can toggle that on and off, and you know, you can set how far away you want. I think these are my arms, <laughs> but anyways, that's what it is. As you guys can see, there's my model, and you know, third person. And the more you put it, the farther you are, the less you put it, the less you are. And lastly, you have bullet tracers and ambient color, which just changes the ambient color of the world. And bullet tracers just shows you where you shot. Let's move on to the miscellaneous, like fly. As you guys can see, I'm kind of flying around. Uh, you guys can change the speed of how fast you want to fly around. Uh, I don't recommend putting it too high because then, you know, you'll you'll probably give a hand. But then again, maybe speed is something you guys want. Whatever you guys want, you know, use whatever feature you want. But let's move on to the walk speed, which is just how fast you walk around. As you can see, this is like 30, which is not even close to the max. The max is 100. And as you can see, our screen does shake a lot, which is why the gun mod section, the no sway or screen like shake, this can be pretty useful. You also have jump power, which is just how high you jump. Uh, so, you know, this is 30 and I just died because it took fall damage. But you guys can also take off fall damage and turn on bunny hop 
So let me show you that. Uh, it's kind of hard to show you bunny hop because my jump power is too high. So let me turn it down a little. And now what you guys can do is basically just hold the space bar. Any bunny hop is pretty good. So And you can also like strafe a little if you want. So pretty cool. But let's move on to the last section, which is the anti-aim. And let me show you, let me see if I can show you guys the anti-aim with the third person. I don't think I can, but I will try. So you got your spin bot and the spin bot, what it does, it just starts spazzing out for other people. Now you guys can't see it yourselves, but other people will be able to just like some other features I've shown you for other GYs. You also have an underground setting, so you'll be like underground. Now, I don't know why you'd want this. You can use this, uh, but I just don't, I don't. I don't really understand it. Uh, and what is this? What is this guy doing? You guys see the chams right there? You guys see his outline and stuff like that. So that's the chams. But let me turn off this like underground setting. Uh, like I said, you guys can also use uh, you know a more normal anti aim. You guys can choose a stance. So let's do like crouch. And what other people will see is you crouching and like running around pretty fast. So that's always kind of weird to see. And you guys can also change your yacht and your pitch, which will just make you look differently. So that's pretty much the anti aim. That's what this will do. And you guys can try to like just tune it honestly any setting is great as long as you're not going against other cheaters and if you are just turn on your spin bot and you'll be fine lastly you got tilt head which will just keep your head tilted so other people will have trouble hitting you and you got lower hands which will just put your hands lower lastly you got fake lag which you guys saw this in the previous video i'm pretty sure it was an mm murder mystery 2 gy and you had a ping spoofer and you can do this like this and you know pretty cool pretty cool feature and lastly the last thing we got which is fake position and all you do is hold left or you click left alt and you're faking your position you can turn it back off by just clicking left alt again anyways though that's pretty much all for this video i did not like show you guys the features because i don't know some of you guys said that you might just want to see just the features and not actually like see me testing out the script let me guys know if what you like better and of course tell me down in the comments if you want to see me show you also me using it or if you just want to see all the features and stuff like that i really don't know uh, i just heard that you guys wanted this or some of you guys wanted this so i was like okay i'll try that out uh, let me know remember we're doing the 125k giveaway once we hit that goal and all you need to do to enter is leave a like uh, of course comment down below your favorite feature from this gy and then wait until 125k and you guys might be one of the few lucky winners but anyways thank you for sticking along until the end of the video hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll catch you all in the next one see you guys we hit that goal and all you need to do to enter is leave a like uh, of course comment down below your favorite feature from this gy and then wait until 125k and you guys might be one of the few lucky winners but anyways thank you for sticking along until the end of the video hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll catch you all in the next one see you guys